today I'm going to be making my Sparco Junior Sprint seat fit on my Corbo double locking slider bracket um, for my Lexus LS400. Uh, I'm building the car to do some drifting events with and uh, I'm going to start doing a little bit more videos on it. Uh, the first event is like three weeks from now or something like that and uh, I'm basically going to be cramming to get it done because the entire rear of the vehicle is out of it. Um, the car has HSD coils, um, Godspeed, rear arms, welded diff, dual caliper bracket which actually we're going to be making so that video will be coming soon, um, a homemade hydro e-brake which I'm also going to do a video on because I made one previously and it turned out absolutely awesome. Okay, so here's the Corbo bracket and the part number. Um, it says that it works for 1990 to 1995 Lexus LS400, uh, which is actually false. It, um, it only works for 89 to 94. Um, my car is a 95 and even though Corbo told me that it was for sure gonna work in my car. I got it and of course only three holes lined up. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, this hole on 89 to 94 goes to uh, the transmission tunnel and in 89 to 94 there's a bolt hole there. My car has a seat bolt hole right about where my finger is. So I'm gonna have to either drill a hole in the transmission tunnel and run a nut and a bolt there or I'm gonna have to weld another bracket onto here and cut this one off just because it's absolutely useless. Um, another cool feature though about the Corbo seat is it does have a double locking slider instead of a regular seat where this was this side is never locked and this side is locked. Um, this is a little bit safer if I get in an accident with the reason I can't make just bolt this bracket to the seat is because the seat bolt hole is wider than the seat bracket so I'm gonna use some like half inch wide steel just to make a little adapter to make up for the space in between the two and uh, I really hope it works because I'm not sure if it's going to but we're gonna find out um, I'm already frustrated tried drilling through this I don't know if you can see it, drill bits are getting mangled. Um, don't try to drill through weld steel. It is just a pain in the butt. So, what I am going to do is, these are my old seat brackets that I modified to fit a jazz racing seat. I am literally gonna cut off from here up, weld this section that I cut back onto the seat bracket and then use the pre-existing holes to mount my Sparco seat. Um, hopefully it works. If not, I'm about to weld up a $250 seat bracket to mount a $5 seat, all for nothing. Alright guys, so uh, what I've done is tacked the seat bracket that I made to the rail. I just did a few tacks all, all throughout. Um, what I'm going to do is go test fit it in the car, make sure it's not crooked or anything, make sure like it's not unlevel. And uh, if everything's A-OK, -okay, I'm going to come back, run a weld all the way across on all four corners, make sure it's nice and sturdy and uh, ready for me to maybe hit a wall, who knows. I 
check the seat in the car. And Ronan also checked the seat in the car. And it straightened everything. So what I did was I soaked the bottom of the seat so it doesn't catch on fire when I run like a full beat across. So the welds are done. The seat's ready to get dropped back into the car. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow the Godspeed uh, rear arms are supposed to be coming in. Well, they'll be here 100%. I checked the tracking information. If not, fuck you, UPS. They will be down to try. Yes, I do. So we made it to the shop today. Uh, well, my shack today. you. His hotel, car hotel. Basically. One bedroom suite. So we're gonna put the seat in. Um, that sick Cummins over there, holy shit, boy. Anyways, uh, UPS slacked. Um, we sat around till 3:30 and they still didn't show up. So we can't get the arms in today. Oh no, we'll get them in today. We're gonna have to make two trips to pick them up. Two trips across the country yeah, to pick gonna, them up. They gonna show up though. Shout out to British Columbia. Godspeed, they're not so speedy. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a picture. So this is the heap. We got the seat in. Don't know how well you can see it. I got my baller wheels on it. Check out that fitment. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Apparently, according to Ronan, I'm gonna have to buff, the buff down the calipers. Buff the caliper down to get that. All right, guys. So uh, I'm on my way home now. Uh, we got the seat fitted. We're just waiting for the Godspeed arms to come in, and then uh, like the day they come in, we're putting the subframe back together, and uh, hopefully we can get the subframe back in the car because I don't want to leave. Get it. I don't want to leave the car to the very last minute and just load it on the trailer and go. I'd like to get like a, a couple test runs in on it. Um, where Ronin's shop is is actually a really good setup. So hopefully I can really put the car to the test and make sure that nothing is going to break when I get to the track.